It's Thanksgiving week and Sarah Palin has a book out where she slams just about everybody who tried to put her a heartbeat away from the presidency. I'm kind of with her on that, but she's not a total ingrate. In fact, here's Doug's dozen 12 things Sarah Palin is giving thanks for. Number one, roast wolf with all the trimmings. Number two, the right to bear arms, in case Levi does show up for Thanksgiving. Number three, the Newsmax Digest of my book, so I don't have to read the darn thing. Number four, our loving God, who will smite my enemies and turn their children into wandering orphans. Number five, all my gay friends. Okay, one friend. What do you mean Ann Coulter doesn't count? With that, Adam's apple? Number six, the fact that John McCain picked me to be his running mate, even though he is an idiot. Number seven, my big book of weird names for kids. Number eight, Glenn Beck, a potential vice president who would make me look reasonable. Number nine, all my loyal fans who stood in a cold rain for hours at my book signing, even though I wound up blowing them off. Number 10, the fact that all those freezing fans don't know where my house is. Number 11, there's no Obamacare yet, so I won't be taxed to treat a bunch of losers with pneumonia. And to make an even dozen, the number 12 thing Sarah Palin is giving thanks for, a restaurant that's open on Thanksgiving, so halfway through cooking dinner, I can quit. And I just want to say on behalf of comedy writers everywhere, I'm giving thanks for Sarah Palin.